Hi, I'm Sonam. I'm an engineer at Zeus, and I'm going to talk you through our brand new range of Z87 motherboards. Here we've got the Z87 Sabertooth, which is part of our tough range of motherboards. Five-year warranty, so it goes for our server testing program, and I'm going to unbox it. So here you have it, you've got the bundled accessories with a Z87 Sabertooth. The motherboard itself, the um, dust defenders, so that's for everything including the I.O. panel at the back, and mesh guard, thermistor cables, so this can plug into your motherboard and then you can put the sensor anywhere on your chassis, but for example you can put it on the back of your graphics card, we can measure the temperature directly. You've got two fans here, one of which goes to the I.O. port at the rear, so you can um, bring in cool air from externally, put it through the VRMs, then one sits on top as well. And then there's further dust defenders here for the PCI Express lanes and dim slots. Okay, so let's have a look at the Sabertooth Z87 motherboard. Straight away you can tell it's totally different from everything else on the market. It's got this thermal armor on the front. And then um, what's new for Z87, we've got this rear fortifier on the back. Now this um, gives the board extra rigidity, so it's unlikely to bend at all. Um, it's also got thermal pads between the fortifier and the motherboard, so that will withdraw heat from the motherboard itself away. And then you can see we've got little floor valves here as well, which can direct the airflow. You can have, have them in the open position, which is uh, aimed for air cooling, and then in the closed position for water cooling. We've also got three PCI Free Express lanes, so that's three-way SLI, three-way crossfire, and we've also got um, USB, uh, USB BIOS flashback. USB BIOS flashback is a feature which is exclusive to Zeus. This allows you to uh, flash a BIOS onto the motherboard without having a CPU installed, without having any RAM, without having a GPU. All you need is power to the motherboard and the uh, BIOS on a USB stick, that's all, and it'll get flashed on. So let's have a look at the rear panel of a Sabertooth Z87. So we've got four USB 2 ports here, USB BIOS flashback, which gives you that um, ability to flash a BIOS without having a CPU, memory or GPU installed, something ex exclusive to ASUS motherboards. Now this is especially useful, so say for example uh, in a year's time when Intel release new processors on the same socket, then um, you can upgrade your BIOS without even having the CPU installed. We've got four USB 3 ports, eSATA ports, HDMI out, display port out, optical audio out, Intel Gigabit LAN and HD audio. Okay, so I'm going to take you through some of the features on the front of the, front of the motherboard. So we've got these 10K capacitors, which is um, twice the rated 5K, normal 5K capacitors, which gives you that higher headroom for overclocking and stability. And then we've also got MemoK. MemoK uh, is something that's, again, exclusive to Zeus, where you can basically cycle through um, different settings through the BIOS for the memory. So if, if, there's, if you have some compatibility issues, then if you hold down the MemoK button, it'll start doing those uh, settings for you. So even if it's failing, um, and you, before you RMA it, you can use MemoK to bring your board to life first. Uh, we've also got the direct key, which is something um, which allows you to access the BIOS directly. Got the CPU fan at the top, CPU option fan, chassis fan with an uh, additional assist fan as well. A couple more chassis fans. And something that's new for Z87 is that our chassis fans allow you to retain PWM function with three pin um, fans. So say if you were to install this into your case, then you would no longer have to upgrade to uh, four, pin, four, uh, four pin PWM fans as, this, uh, as these headers will uh, give you that function, which saves cost over, overall on your system build. So something else that our Z87 Sabertooth board that no one else has is the Thermal Radar 2nd Edition now, which um, basically allows you to uh, pinpoint where the fans are on the board and in the case, and this actually gives you a graphical representation through the software, so you can see exactly where they are, where they are in the case, you can name the fans, um, 
And in addition to giving your own different profiles of how they interact, uh, we've also got a one-click assessment. So you just click one button, it'll assess the system, and then rate your um, cooling solutions um, and see whether it's good, very good, excellent, or whether you need it uh, improving as well.